Um, I don't know. We got any more people on here. We're going to be doing that. Um, what was it? Tropicals. Tropicals. The tropicals pickles, which is those fruit punch flavored pickles. We were going to make a video on it, but I thought it'd be funny to do it on the live stream, us trying them out, because then you know that we're not cutting nothing out, and you're going to see that reaction, and we're going to get the boys in here, and so we can get their reaction to it too, and everything. So we'll have that up here in a little bit. County offers a lot, us a lot of good stuff, especially for the boys' schooling. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good programs here for homeschoolers, you know. And it's just a, it's a, a nice, beautiful area. The, the the weather here, you get the four seasons. You know, there's nothing ever really too hot, too cold. You get enough rain. You know, we get a lot of good rain here. We also have your dry times that, you know. So I think stuff's going to grow really well around here. You know, but yeah, we want to stay in the same county we're in, which is still a good sign. For off-grid homesteading. I don't think I'll ever be ready for off-grid homesteading. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I could do off-grid. Why? With Why solar, rainy? By, with solar power. But, you know, there's some, there's some hardcore people out there that, oh, I would love to be able to get to that stage to where... You know, they have very minimal solar, like, for, for instance, you know, um, Full Spectrum Survival, which they have another channel, which is uh, Brad and Kelly Off Grid. So you can go check them out on there. But they are in the process now of, you know, getting their, they've got their little off-grid house there and they're remodeling it. Or I don't know if you call it remodeling because it's nothing's in there yet. They're, they're putting it all in there. And they will be off grid with a little, I think, a little bit of solar. Mm -hmm. They're still going to be limited on their solar. Full so, so spectrum survival. We're in, we're in uh, Cookville, Tennessee. Yeah, we're in Cookville, Tennessee, which, if you look at it on a map or whatever, we are dead center in between Nashville, is on one side of us. You know, like Nashville's over here, Knoxville's over here. Chattanooga is right down here, and we're right there in the center, so it's about two hours all three ways. And then actually, though, it's two hours straight up to Kentucky. So we're kind of centrally located. And maybe located. old Gaffey said, did you guys um, heard about the Hurricane Harvey getting around in Florida? Yes. yes, we did. Hurricane Harvey's there, and what's that? What's that? The next one is Irene. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, already picked. Well, there's there's two of them that's hitting Florida. That's going to hit Florida, and I think they're saying the way that's going. You know, we'll see some of the after effects of it of the rain and storms, probably. But yeah, it's I, we know people. We know people that have family that live in Florida, and I know they were all worried, and because he was trying to get his family to come up here for the week or whatever to get out of that situation. Hi, right, Amy, Mrs. Ray Ray. Hey, Mrs. Ray Ray. So I don't know if he was able to convince him to come up here. His mom lives down there. But, yeah. But, yeah, I don't know if I'd ever go completely off-grid. I'd love to, but I don't think I could ever afford to go off-grid enough that I would be able to have my solar. And I love power. I mean, that's that's like an addiction, I guess. I love power too much. You know, I want to be able to not have power when I don't need it, but when I want it, I want to be able to go in there and, have air conditioning or have cold items to eat or drink or whatever. So I don't know if I'd ever be able to, now if I won the lottery or came into a lot of money, I might be able to do it. But yeah. Hi, Amy, Mrs. Ray Ray, the Explorer. Hello. Thanks for stopping in. Yes, has anybody got any other questions? I mean, we got some after effects of the hurricane, but it was just rain. Yeah, we had a couple days there. Uh, the one that hit down there by Houston. Yeah. We got we got a little couple effects of that one afterwards. About three days after it hit, it was able to come up here, and we got a lot of rain. Who was who was asking all ago about they want mountain rain? That was a. Uh, I can't remember who it was that asked Walter or said something about a while ago they didn't want to get rid of theirs to get mountain land. Duckhead Homestead. Duckhead Homestead. I don't know where you're looking at it for, 
But I know if you want to get up in the mountains and you don't care what the terrain is, whether or not it's mountain, mountain terrain with wooded and rocks, I know they're, they, they're, they're selling a lot of land around in Tennessee that's up in those mountains over here that is fairly cheap. I mean, I think you can get about a good five, ten acres for ten to twenty thousand. But I mean, it's raw. I mean, you will never. I mean, it's one of those things that you can't get power to it. I don't think because it's so far off the path and stuff. It costs you an arm and leg to get power to it. But if you were looking for something that's like survival off grid, that would never, be the way to go. I never got to go. So. I laid down and take a nap, but yeah, she never took a nap. I never took a nap. So, but yeah, if you're looking for something like that, and, and Duck has said we will be looking in northern Idaho. Oh, okay, up in Idaho, yeah. See, it's too cold up there for me. I don't do. I don't like cold. Yes, we do. Um, dark matter. We do monetize on videos. Yeah. And I'm still trying to figure out what you can do, what you can't do. I mean, what are you allowed to say? What you're not allowed to say? I mean, if I have, I know I've got a couple people that are, uh, that I watch that are um, on the channels that do beer reviews for beer. Now, I know some of them I want to do, they were talking about if I do a beer review or not. I said, yeah, I can do one, but I'd love to be able to do one just to help, you know, just to show that, hey, I'll do one too for you. But I don't know if you get unmonetized or something like that, which I really don't really care whether they're not unmonetized or not. Or, on, on a, I mean, if they don't want to monetize it or not. But I've looked to see if there was a list of something that said, you can do this, you can't do this. I mean, like, if I have beer on there, are they not going to monetize you? What if you have cigarettes on there? Are they not going to monetize you? Just to cut you off a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Warpath said, we hit 200 subs. All Yay! right. And it says, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Southern Yankee on the journey. You helped make that possible. Yeah, be sure everybody go sub to Warpad if you're not sub to them. Well, actually, go sub to everybody. You know? So. Yeah, I don't know. I've looked, and somebody mm -hmm. on here might know where I can look to find out what the rules and regulations are on what you can monetize and what you can't monetize because I've watched beer videos and some people's are monetized. Some people's aren't. And I've watched them really carefully to see, did they say a bad word or did they do something or did they refer to something they weren't supposed to refer to? Do they not have the 10,000 views? Well, yeah, because they'll, they'll, one of their videos will be monetized, but another one won't. Oh. So I can't figure out the difference between this video here of theirs that's monetized, and this one here that's not monetized, I've watched them carefully over and over again to see if I could find what it was that wasn't monetizable, and I can't figure it out. So I don't know if there's something that says that what, what's monetizable and what's not monetizable. And uh, Doc Mattis says, uh, right now it is tough, but the artificial intelligence is, is uh, learning very fast. Soon you won't have to worry too much a lot of the videos that were hit by the flags have been fixed already. Mm -hmm. And also it said, um, I want to know how the, the change in the YouTube editor will affect attaching music. Who said that? Also. Oh, that, I don't I don't know nothing about We don't use YouTube hey, editors. Shin -shin. We don't use that, use that YouTube editor. We use that um, movie maker. Which I know somebody said that's out of date now, but I guess I'm going to use that as long as I can. And I think it was Dark Matter that had that told us. I got it written down. I have a book, of, a YouTube book, I call it. I guess that anything that somebody tells me or anything I want to remember, I write down here because I have a bad memory. But I'm pretty sure it was Dark Matter that told me, and he's on here. He can tell you if it was him or not. He told me about another um, editing program. That I don't know if he's tried yet or not, but he said it looked pretty good for what he's seen of it. I think it was him. I mean, don't quote me on that one, but 
you know, I'm sure one day I'm going to have to switch from movie maker, but I hey, really like that. Hey, Grizz. Hey, Grizz. How are your cats doing today? Yeah, hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, so I don't know about anything about the YouTube editor. Somebody else on here might know more than what I do, so. Duckhead says, um, I have to get back to work. Thanks for all my, all who subbed on my channel. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate that. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out. We can appreciate it. Everybody else hasn't smashed it yet. Smash it for us, please. Um, yeah, don't forget, if you're just coming in, you've been in here for a little bit, don't forget to like or go subscribe to everybody else in here. they got really good channels. And, you know, you don't have to be in the same category. I mean, you know, I understand that we have Homestead on our category of what we do, but... That doesn't mean that's what I watch only. I mean, I've got, like I said, I got people that do beer review. I can't. So, you guys, anybody got any other questions? If not, we'll probably get over to those. Those. Tropicals. Tropical. Tropicals. Tropicals. The tropicals. <laughs> those are going to be real interesting. Yes. Well, y'all, if y'all got questions, post them and show y'all them at me. I'm going to go start getting those. The, the tropicals ready, so, <laughs> so we can get those ready and do our little <laughs> sample on those. Gross. Hey, two family homestead. How y'all doing today? Hi. <laughs> We're getting ready for uh, our taste test here. So, 